Hi, there's another way uh, to make things quicker than what proposed uh, the CAD Whisperer. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, another way to do it, uh, but a little bit quicker. So here I have a step part. Uh, you can see with a very strange uh, shape, you know. And now I'm going to export this face and flatten it uh, to be able to cut it uh, in whatever material I like. So the trick is to go to surface and once uh, you are on surface you go to create and you're going to create an offset. So you choose only, I don't know, one millimeter is enough. And you see now you have the shape of uh, the piece you want to cut. So I'm going to hide uh, the part here, just here, and keep the shape. So now I add the shape, just only the shape, you see. Um, and now I'm going to export this and use Mesh Mixer as uh, the same method uh, uh, that showed uh, the CAD Whisperer. So I'm going to save it as a mesh. Uh, I'm going to save it at STL uh, ASCII file. So uh, I save it anywhere. Now I go to uh, Mesh Mixer. I'm going to import uh, the STL. So you see now I have the, the STL uh, in Mesh Mixer. You can find the, the shape and you see there is no thickness. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, now when you have this, you just need to go to Edit, Unwrap, accept this and you see i have now the unwrapped shape so i'm going to hide this object and here i have now the shape of uh, the flattened shape of my part i can uh, change the position of it so i can uh, see it a little bit more clearly and now that you have the, the shape, it's very, very easy because you can export this as an SVG file. So then you go to File, Export SVG, and it will export the shape in the SVG file type. So I'm going to show body one. And now you have the SVG file so i've opened it in illustrator and now you can see the shape uh, that is ready to print or cut or draw whatever you like